My name is Lilla. Today we'll be doing an easy 15 minute ab workout with a one minute warm up. Each move is one minute with no breaks. Let's get started. For our warm up, we're gonna be doing vacuums for 30 seconds. So hold in your abs tight and release, breathe out. Breathe in, hold in tight and breathe out. Another, hold in tight. Tight, tight, tight. This is important for all the moves we're doing today. You wanna to hold your abs in for each of the moves and breathe out. Now we're just gonna warm up all of our abs with some half circles. Bring your knees into your chest, to the side. This is just to get your abs all warmed up on all sides. Do this for about 30 seconds. Remember those vacuums, keep your abs sucked in tight even through this warm out. All right. Now we're gonna get into a simple crunch. Hands behind the head, suck in those abs and up. 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 Remember to keep those abs sucked in and tight. We don't wanna keep them up and out, we want it in. Remember how those vacuums felt? I want you to be holding your abs in the whole time. And a crunch for a minute. Make sure to keep your elbows out wide. We don't want them in wide. Really use those abs to sit up and hold. Hold. Breathe in and then exhale. Keep that stomach tucked in. Elbows out. You don't want to be pulling your head forward. You want to be leading with your chest. Abs sucked in. And now we're going to go to a 45 degree angle tabletop. Keep crunching. Keep holding. Sucking in. Same move, same deal. Keep your knees in tabletop position. 45 degrees. And crunch. And crunch. Remember to breathe. Keep those abs held in tight. Elbows out. Leading with your chest. Don't pull on the neck or the spine. Lead. And breathe. Up. This is just like the crunch, guys, just with a 45 degree angle. Ten more seconds. Keep that belly sucked in tight. All right, our next move is going to be toe tap, same position, and tap, tap, tap. You can have your head down and rest it if your neck's getting tired, or you can have it up and crunched. I would recommend up and crunching it so you can work those upper abs and lower abs. Tap. Tap. Keep that belly sucked in all the way. I'm looking at the tops of my knees. Again, don't pull on your head. Keep it open, keep it wide. Look up at the sky. Enjoy the beautiful day we're having. Keep that tummy, that tummy sucked in. And breathe. Up with the chest and breathe. 10 more seconds. All right, next we're gonna go to a leg lift. Legs up, you can either have your chest up or down. And we're just gonna bring the legs down and up. If you want it to be easier and easier on your back, bring your hands below your glutes and just up and down. Remember to keep that tummy sucked in tight. 
keep your back flushed against the floor. If you want an extra challenge, you can bring your hands up, chest in, side, and breathe. Keep that tummy sucked in. We want to be working our abs. Back needs to stay on the floor. All right, 10 more seconds. Then we're going to go into another crunch in a leg lift position. All right, up, toe touches. Again, keep that tummy sucked in tight. Breathing, try to touch them toes. It's a pulse and pulse and pulse and pulse. Try not to leave your head. Envision your chest coming up to meet your thighs. Touching those toes. And pulse. And pulse. Remember those stomach vacuums from the beginning? I want you to keep your abs in. Abs tight. Sucking in. And breathe. Ten more seconds, then we go into a bicycle. All right. Elbow to opposite knee. Keep those abs sucked in. Feel those little feet. I want your shoulder off the mat. Bring your elbow to meet your knee elbow to knee. Again, keep that tummy sucked in. And breathe. There's a crunch motion with this. I don't want to see you guys just bringing your knees to your chest. Bring your elbows to your knees. Keep that tummy in tight. in a crunch position. Keep it strong, strong. I want your legs out straight and in. Crunch, in, crunch, and in. Just like the leg lifts, we go to the left and then to the right. Go all the way down and up and around. Again, keeping your stomach tight. Really trying to draw that perfect circle with your toes. It's important to keep it sucked in when we reach the bottom here so that your back doesn't come up off the mat. Focus drawing that perfect circle. Try holding it for as long as you can on the bottom of the circle. Breathe. Feel the burn in your abs when your feet come down. I want you to almost brush the mat with your heels. Draw that perfect circle. Alright, and we're going to go into starfish. Again, like the bicycle, think about bringing your chest to your legs and crunching up, alternating each side, keep that tummy tight, breathing out and go up. I want those legs straight, pretty, keep good form and breathe. Make sure to bring your shoulders to your thighs. Crunch up, up, up as much as possible. All right. Ha, now we're gonna take a little bit of a break. Feel free to grab some water, stretch a little bit. 
stretch those abs up. Sometimes I like to do a cat, a cat stretch in the middle. Feel that stretch in our abs. Next, we're gonna go into plank. And we're just gonna go into a quick plank hold for a minute. Just like those vacuums in the warm up, we wanna keep our tummy tucked in. Good form. Holding our stomach up will also help us to keep our form so that we're not up like this or down like this. Tummy tucked in, shoulders up. Elbows should be at a 90 degree angle. You can look down at your hands or a little bit past the mat. We don't want you looking down like this. Keep it up, strong. Keeping that tummy tucked in. And breathe. Breathe. About 10 more seconds, then we're going into side planks. All right, I go onto the right side. Keep that stretch up. You can look up at your hand. You can keep your hand on your hip or hand on your head. Feel like there's a string pulling your hip up to the sky. All right, in 10 seconds, we're going to do a side plank pull. I like to keep my hand on my hip for this one. And we're gonna go down to the floor and back up. Down and up. Down and up. Think about it like there's a puppet master pulling on the string of your hip and releasing it. And pulling up, keep it strong. 10 seconds and then we're going to switch sides. All right, now we're gonna go to the other side. Side plank. Again, keeping a nice form, elbow should be 90 degrees. Look up to the sky, hand on the hip, hand on the head, and just breathe into it. All right, and pull. Remember that string, pulling on our hip, coming down and up. Don't rest your hip on the mat, keep it up, keep it strong, up and down. All right, we're gonna go back into plank, but now we're gonna go hip to the floor. Again, keep that tummy tucked in, especially when we're coming up. Tap those hips side to side and breathe. This can be a pretty hard move, so feel free to take a break if you need and just jump right back in. We don't wanna rest our hip on the floor. Just a quick tap and then onto the other side. This is a great move for your obliques, upper body, and your abs all around. We have 10 seconds left. Then we'll go into our last move. All right. This one I want you to crunch it out. Lemon squeezers. Do as many as you can. Finish strong. This is our last move before the cool down. I believe in you guys. Keep that tummy tucked in tight. Go as fast as you can. Speed around. This one's a real ab burner, but you gotta finish strong. We're almost there. 
30 seconds. Keep that tummy tucked in, just like at the beginning. Bring your knees in, out, in, out. Legs straight when you come out. Try to keep them together as much as possible. Come on, guys. All right, five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right, now let's go into a cool down. This is my favorite stretch to do after any ab workout because it really stretches the abs. Especially after all those crunches. Squeeze the glutes. Go back as far as you can. And in. Oh, feel that stretch in your shoulders. Breathe. Breathe. You just finished a pretty tough workout. I'm proud of you guys. Now it's time to reward yourself. Feel that stretch. Whew, you're done, you did it. Good job, guys. All right, child's pose one more time. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed that ab workout. Let me know how you guys fared. Come back to Gym Raw next week. Thank you.